We should remember that we got a majority in 2019 because we are a coalition of uh, blue and red wall seats. And, you know, if you look at the Australian election results, you can see the dangers of alienating your more suburban conservative voters who have those more socially liberal views. Uh, we need to keep that coalition together. So what, what would you do? You know, the Tiverton and Honiton by-election is coming up. What, what should the Conservatives do to target those voters? I think we need to show that uh, we are in touch with the concerns of those voters. We've, we've got a fantastic new candidate for Tiverton and Honiton and um, we need to show people that we understand local concerns, rural concerns, the concerns of farmers, mm -hmm. um, but also show that as a party uh, we do care about our heartlands as well as um, you know, potential new areas that we'd like to join our coalition. And obviously that by-election came about because one of your colleagues was reported for watching porn in the, in, in the chamber. Um, there's another by-election coming up in Wakefield as well. That came about because of another one of your colleagues being convicted for sexually assaulting a 15-year-old. And there has been another story, yes, another story of a Tory MP arrested on uh, suspicion of rape. I mean, what's happening within your party? You know, does, what does this say about the state of your party? You know, none of those individual cases would I remotely want to defend, um, but nor do they speak for the vast majority of decent Conservative MPs who work very hard for their constituents. Uh, and in the end, I think that, you know, the result of the next election, whether people in our heartlands as well as in our more recent more recently acquired seats vote for us won't be about these issues. It'll be about whether we have the best plans for people and their families. And that's the argument that we very much have to win going forward. Mm -hmm.